Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and of course another what I eat in a day video. Thank you so much for logging on and joining me today for another fantastic day of food and thank you guys so much for all the love and support that you guys are showing on these videos. It makes me so so happy that you guys are enjoying them, keep tagging me when you cook the recipes, it just it makes me so happy. So yes, today we have another fantastic day. Breakfast was a bit of a treat actually today considering it's a Tuesday morning. I actually had a blueberry muffin, which never happens. I basically whipped up these blueberry muffins last night and they're a Weight Watchers recipe. I will link it down below in case you guys are interested. I actually put blueberries and raspberries in my buns uh, and they turned out delicious. They were such a nice little sweet treat to have along with a banana, so I had those. Um, I'll insert that now. Getting tired of my friends Saying I should move on but I just feel guilty when I try to meet someone And I, I know it's not cool that I keep checking my So, last night I did a bit of baking and to be honest, I just fancy something a little bit sweet um, for my breakfast um, It's come a bit early, normally I have snack time at around 3 o'clock but that's the time I would normally have a cupcake or something but last night, again, I did some baking I'm just going to show you guys the recipe that I used and it was for these blueberry muffins which are four points each they're really nice actually I had one last night and I put the rest of them in this big Tupperware container to have throughout the day today so I'm going to have one of those along with a banana and they're really delicious basically they contain um, blueberries and raspberries they are just blueberry muffins but I had to, added the raspberries because I had them so I'm going to have that and a banana and that is four points for breakfast it's a real treat um, to have a muffin so early in the day um, so I'll have to find something else for my sweet treat later and yeah what a wonderful way to start the day along with a banana but now it's time for lunch and I'm having something again that's slightly slightly more indulgent guys I pretty much never have pasta like I don't eat pasta very often but I've just been craving this recipe that I've seen on the Weight Watchers website so I'm gonna try and recreate it today and it's like a butternut squash red onion pen it just sounds delicious. It's really nice and comforting considering it's characteristically grey outside today. So I'm wanting a bit of comfort food and I feel like pasta's the way to go. So that's that's for lunch. And then tonight I'm making like a beef stew, like a, a goulash, again from the Weight Watchers app. So all really great recipes to share with you guys today, all completely new to me. So I'm very, very excited. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And of course to see more what I eat in a day from me because it lets me know that you guys still want to see them. And let's get cracking along with the day. I'll post everything that I'm wearing in the description box down below. Should it interest you, I just have my dungarees on from ASOS. This top, which is from New Look. And yeah, let's, let's go and get on with the day and I hope you all enjoy it. But this is the recipe that I'm going to be making today. It's the roasted butternut and red onion pen. Now this is seven points a person. This is to serve four, but I'm going to be just quartering it all and making a serving just for myself. I'm going to need a butternut squash, some red onion, some olive oil or calorie controlled spray. I have weighed out some pasta. I'm gonna add a bit of aubergine. Feel free to add whatever fruit and veg you think would accompany this dish well. Um, I have a little bowl here with some smoked paprika, a teaspoon of curry powder and some mixed chili seeds. I also have a little bit of tomato puree. Again, that's optional. You don't have to add it, but I'm gonna add a little bit. A clove of garlic, salt and pepper, and some basil as well. And in regards to prep, it's a very simple one. All I have to do is cut up my vegetables, pop them in a roasting tin with the spices, and let them roast for 40 minutes, and add them with the pasta. Like, it literally couldn't be simpler. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna get on with cutting all of my veggies off. I know, I know, I know. I should have seen this one coming. You lit a fire, I can't put it out. I know, I know, I know. You're nothing but a dot on the horizon by now. By now. But I'm not sorry. Look at that big bowl of comfort food, enjoy. I'm just gonna sprinkle on a little bit of parmesan, um, not much, literally just a light sprinkling on the top. You laugh when I cried, watching the fault in our stars. 
I knew there were stories behind all those little scars on your arms. I wish you know you could have put the load on my heart, but I'm not sorry for loving. So I've just finished lunch, and it's time for me now to go and get Layla. That pasta was so so good. The only thing is, because I'm not used to eating pasta, I actually feel a little bit bloated. Um. I'm just not used to it, but the flavour was amazing. I would definitely recommend it. The butternut squash and red onion was just incredible. Um, so yeah, I'm going to head off my walk now and I'm going to take with me a peach just because this one's feeling a little bit soft and easy eating. So I'm going to have that and then I'm going to head back, have my afternoon coffee and get on with making dinner. So it's that time in the afternoon now where I'm going to be having my afternoon coffee. So I'm just about to get the kettle on, but I thought I would show you the snack that I'm going to opt for today. I've got back from my walk and I'm just feeling like I need a bit of sugar. So I've decided to have one of these small Kinder chocolate bars. I say small, I bet. But they're still quite high in point value but I'm just going to check because I haven't had one of these before and these are six points per bar which to be honest with you I'm I won't go over my dailies but even if I did I'd be happy to spend my weeklies on this I'm going to have this and a coffee and that would be my afternoon snack right so this is the recipe that I'm going to make for dinner tonight it's the paprika beef and butter bean goulash and it's four points per person this recipe serves four I'll link it in the description box down below so the first thing you're going to need is some diced casserole beef or some you know sirloin steak beef whatever just as long as it's kind of cut off into chunks you're going to need some chopped tomatoes or some passata a tin of butter beans whatever oil you want to use I'm going to use coconut oil for this dish because I used a lot of olive oil today and um, I have a pepper here I have an orange and a red pepper feel free to use whatever color you would like I also have some butter and mushrooms the recipe doesn't call for this but I find it a perfect way to eat veg that needs to be eaten um, and to bulk it up a little bit I also have the rest of the aubergine that I I made for lunch today so I'm going to incorporate that as well. Two cloves of garlic, um, a stock cube or a stock pot, I use the no stock pots so they're really delicious, a red onion and of course some smoked paprika as well. You can use regular paprika if you would like. So the first thing I'm going to do is brown this meat off then put it into a bowl and cook the onions in that same oil and that will add a lot of flavour to the dish. I'm not sorry for loving you. Sorry, not sorry, no. Sorry, not sorry, I'm, I'm not, not sorry. sorry. Out of my friends saying I should move on, but I just feel guilty when I try to meet someone. And I, I know it's not cool that I keep checking my phone, just hoping that I'd see. So, guys, it's the end of the night, which can only mean that I'm about to have my last food and drink of the day, and that's an orange. Um, the goulash was so so nice, it was really filling actually and I feel like it's a dish that's going to go really well for autumn and winter, I mean dare I say it, it's not actually that far away until autumn at the moment, so make sure you check out that recipe and meal prepping and planning, so do make sure you give it a try, especially if you like tomatoes and it's another great one for throwing in loads of fruit and veg that you need to eat, so yeah I really enjoyed it, don't forget to comment down below what you think about this video and also I get asked a lot of questions about the music I use throughout my what I eat in a days and all I will say is I'm super super selective but Today's song is actually by an up and coming artist that I've been listening to recently. His name is Charles. I'm going to pop his link for his new single, which is called Sorry, that you'll have heard throughout this video, in the description box down below for you guys to go and give it a listen, go and give it a download, say hi from me, let me know I sent you. And I hope you all enjoy it. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I'm not sorry.